Welcome to Spiritual Psychic with Sarah Wiseman, where you'll learn how to unlock the secrets of spiritual intuition and your own psychic gifts. Here's Sarah. Hey everybody, I'm Sarah Wiseman. Today our topic is, is it better to be good? Is it better to be good? Is it more holy? We say, not always. Goodness implies cultural misbelief. What is good in one culture may be bad in another. What is most important is to wake up to your true nature. When you wake up, you see, you cannot take the God part out of yourself. You cannot become not one. Good or bad is not the question. I really love this because our society or our, the many societies we're a part of or we hear about now the many nations and cultures and political systems and religions and identities and belief systems and all of this that we attach to all have really different ideas about what it means to be good. And for anybody who's done any kind of traveling, you know that when you go from where the place you're in to another place that's quite different, um, a lot of the traditions and things that we think are, you know, really positive in one place where we're from, we go to another place and people are like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? And so we realize that a lot of this idea of good and bad, these two, two flavors that we can choose from, it's really just cultural or it's really just these ideas that we grew up with or these ideas that we were given or these ideas that the mainstream around us is using and they may not have anything to do with either us or actually anything. Um, I think it's reasonable to look at anything that's super polarized. This is bad. This is good. And sort of anything that's really definitely on one side or the other, you know, a certain group might think like, this is the most terrible thing ever. This is the best thing ever. When you get this really strong polarization, it's really good to look at those things, especially the things that are super polarized, the things that are super extreme and kind of accept that those things are probably neither good or bad. Like the polarized, polarized is not probably a good reality check for you as a person working on their soul growth. The things that matter more than what various cultures or society tells us, all these rules we have to keep to be good or to be bad, rules we have to break to be bad, it's really pretty simple. You want to be kind. You want to be considerate. And so by kind, that means you think of the other as, as you would yourself. That's one way of looking at it. To be considerate means you think through, not just for yourself, but for the, the people and animals and beings that you're affecting. Um, you keep things smooth, like you keep things sort of drama free or low drama. So you sort of keep this vibe going so that everybody has space to be doing what they need to do. So kindness, consideration, keeping the drama low, that usually means you're not putting yourself first or you're not letting others put themselves first. You're just kind of being like, yeah, we got to work together. And then there are um, these other rules, you know, that, that do seem quite appropriate, like thou shalt not kill. That seems like kindness and consideration and no drama. It definitely seems like a oneness perspective. It's then when you assign, what does that mean? Does that mean 
thou shalt not kill animals. That seems good, but then what about in places where that is the only thing to eat? Um, what about that, the places where this is what the tradition has been for decades? You can't apply Western vegetarian or veganism onto cultures where that's the main form of food. Even if you morally think uh, killing in any, in any form is incorrect. So you have to have this idea of you can have your very strong beliefs and apply those to your life, but the planet as a whole may not be there. And it's not really for anybody to make clear cut decisions about what's good and bad from our cultural perspective. Again, this is tricky because, you know, anything that one person harming another, one being harming another, those seems those should be pretty much out of the window. Those aren't quote morally good or ethically good. That seems pretty clear. But the the finer line of, you know, should you get divorced? Should you uh, have sex out of marriage? These are kind of silly ideas because it's so accepted, but in some places they're still not. So looking at your cultural belief system, looking at the many cultural belief systems and seeing if you can hone in on what your own value system is. And I think for me, what's helpful is again, this idea of oneness. Um, when you accept that you are part of one, one is part of you, we're all part of this, then it seems clear this idea of what, what harms the least of us harms the most of us, what is good for the least of us is good for the all of us. Then we're looking from not just sole perspective of this is what I need, this is what I want, this is what I think. It's like, let's look at the whole, what is the whole of humanity? Oh, wait, what is the whole of all animal beings? Oh, wait, what is the whole of all animal, human and animal and plant beings? Oh, wait, what is the whole of all beings? And you go from there into this biggest aspect of oneness that you can think of. It's so clear that we're evolving, right? It's so clear when you look at our beliefs from the past, how, how a lot of those have dropped away. When we look at some of the ideas now, even some of those are dropping away. We're moving into this new understanding of ourselves as not separate. That's the way to approach good or bad. Anytime there's separation, it's probably not the right answer. Thanks for listening.